Okay, YouTubers, we're going to build a traction so that we can check the pressures in our Turbo 400 in park, neutral, reverse, drive, second, low, whatever, whatever. Um, what you got to do is you got to hook up a gauge that can go up to at least 200 pounds uh, to the port on the driver's side of your Turbo 400 transmission. It's right here. Your shifter shaft is here. It's just in the center of the case. You're going to find a 1 8 NPT plug right here in the side of the case. Mine was super hard to get loose. I had to heat it up a little bit with some map gas wrench to get it to break loose. But you just remove that and put something in there so that you can hook up a gauge. I have 16 feet of dash four stainless steel braided line. Lo and behold, I had this gauge. And again, I'm assuming this came off probably something to do with like air conditioning. One of those little air conditioner hose setups. But it happens to go up to 200 pounds. Right. This will work to check those pressures in the valve body because it will register the uh, hopefully the appropriate range for the pressures in this turbo 400 this fitting right here was an adapter fitting for your bleeder valve for a hydraulic clutch or a 1 8 mpt threads so now we have our gauge to put on the end of our line then this will screw directly into your case sealing with the 1 8 mpt threads to the case and then the my nitrous line will screw right onto it and then old jed's a millionaire we can find out what kind of stupid pressures are coming out of that uh, valve body now this was a nitrous uh, fitting with a screen in the bottom but the screen was a little sketchy. Like it had a bunch of holes plugged in it and I couldn't get it to blow clean with air or solvent. So I just took a punch and knocked the screen completely out of it. I was trying to give you guys a look at it. So it's perfectly good to use for this test apparatus. Thing up and possibly get some uh, information on whether there's a piece of o-ring in my pressure release valve in the pump or if i'm having a problem with that little missing piece of o-ring possibly being in the valve body shift valves or something all right let's see what we can find out just a quick little insert so that people who learn better from visual representation we have a visual aid this is a front pump from a turbo 400 transmission this is your pressure relief valve of course changing this spring to a stiffer spring will raise the pressures in your valve body or the or the pump and i just wanted everyone to see what i was talking about because the first order of business is to record the pressures of the pump as it shows through the uh, port in the case because if there was a piece of debris, in theory, inside this pressure relief valve, it would not be building the pressures appropriate to make the transmission function properly. So the rationale or the theory is that you check your pressures on your port in your case, and if they're within spec or within reason, then the front pump should be operating uh, properly and therefore there shouldn't be any debris in this pressure relief valve and then of course this is my gauge because a lot of people need to see it all hooked up now let me see if i can get underneath this thing and get the, get the line actually hooked up so we can see what kind of pressures it has all right guys i went ahead and pulled that plug out of the port on the side of the transmission uh, not as hard to get out as that 1970 core, but almost, because I end up having to use a 3 8 breaker bar plus an extension to get that stupid thing to tear loose. 
I wanted to show you guys this gives you a representation of the piece of o-ring that is missing that portion of that o-ring is what's missing and was pushed up through the pump <clears throat> where it ended up we have yet to figure out but hopefully i can figure that out and get the stupid transmission working again so let's get underneath there and i can show you how i got her hooked up all right guys i'm gonna do a little bit of free handing uh, there is my dash 4 adapter just goes from the 1 8 MPT to the dash 4 male and I've got the end of that nitrous line connected to that fitting um, I'm probably going to go ahead and leave that adapter in the case and just put a dash 4 cap on it just to kind of make it easier to check pressures in the future so I wanted to get a little shot of that while I was underneath here before we go upstairs and find out what's going on with the pressures. All right, guys, we've got the uh, homemade pressure gauge set up to uh, check the pressures in this Turbo 400. Um, if you look at my gauge, the end of the red area would represent about, <clears throat> I'd say at least 225 pounds of pressure. Uh, the first mark or the last mark in the red shows 200 pounds and then the mark is pretty close to the middle not quite is 150 pounds um, I'm gonna go ahead and start it we'll get uh, pressure readings in park reverse neutral third gear second gear and first gear and we will try to make <clears throat> notes of all those pressures so that if anybody knows enough about uh, valve body pressures and all that junk, you might be able to help me out. Alright, so we are a hair over 100. I would say that was somewhere between, I'd say let's just call it 105 pounds. That's in park. Let's go to reverse, see what we get. I'm gonna call that at about 155. Reverse is holding 155 pounds at idle. Go to neutral. Alright, so in neutral we drop down to probably 105 pounds. It might be a hair more might be able to say 110 let's go to third okay in third gear we're just a hair over like 105 110 pounds second gear we're bouncing around 170 to 175 low gear same as second bouncing around about 170 175 third gear is definitely low a lot low compared to first and second so we've got park neutral and third are all about the same pressure and you got reverse that's about 155 yeah it might budge up to 160 now that the fluid's warmer and it's flowing better but yeah, in park, neutral, and third, I'm only registering 105 to 110 pounds of pressure. That don't sound right to me, guys. Well, there's the results of our pressure test on the Turbo 400. Um, I'm going to have to think that that low pressure, in the, specifically in the third gear position, has to be a big indicator of where the problem lies. <clears throat> so you're looking at park neutral and third gear you know when I first started it up with the fluid cold was showing about 105 pounds of pressure it did uh, come up to a, a solid 110 pounds once it started flowing a little bit and started getting a little heat in it uh, but then you had uh, reverse was holding a solid 155 to 160 pounds of pressure second gear and first gear were both 
very steady and consistent at the 170 to 175 pound pressure so I would I would dare to say this should be some information that you know a more experienced troubleshooter should be able to tell me what's going on with this valve body why would I be having a low pressure issue in third gear you know especially just sitting there in the driveway you know I don't understand why third gear would have a significant reduction in pressure over first and second so anyway let me get this thing uploaded to the interwebs and see if I can get any feedback or any help from some viewers maybe they can tell me that you know hey that little piece of rubber uh, o-ring you're missing is probably stuck in your third gear shift valve hoping that that little piece of rubber can be retrieved from inside the valve body or wherever it went and that I don't have to pull the transmission back out and uh, do anything inside of it so I don't know for sure but I wanted to share with you guys you know my trials and tribulations I'm trying to get this thing on the road because I am definitely at the end of my rope with this thing and I've already thought more than once about selling it so anyway that's my pressure readings on the uh, blazer please uh, hit up the comments ask your friends and family neighbors relatives whoever has any knowledge of automatic transmissions give them these numbers and ask them what in the valve body can cause this or what else in the transmission can cause this type of symptom thanks again for watching please like subscribe and share please hit up my channel because i've got over 400 videos of various builds and performance tips and tricks just go check it out guys see what you can find thanks for watching